Hi everyone, I'm Hwan Young Lee. Mm, today, uh, we will learn about overview of shading language. The, you can uh, download the sample code and reference document from Ajukit server in here. Please download a uh, WebGL uh, quick reference card and GLSL 1.00 uh, specification document. It will be very helpful to to your shader have various kind of uh, version. In the first release of uh, GL shader is 2004. Uh, its version is 1.1. It is used for OpenGL 2.0. So it uh, in every uh, two or three years it evolved its version to use 3 and 4. Currently, most recently released uh, GLSL version is 4.6. It is the same version number with OpenGL version 4.6. But in case of OpenGL ES, so OpenGL ES 1.0 is not use the shading language. In OpenGL 2.0, they use OpenGL SL ES, SL ES. It is based on GLSL 1.2. Here, one is based on 1.2 of GLSL. As I already commented about that, is WebGL 1.0 is based on OpenGL 2.0, ES 2.0. And WebGL 2.0 is based on OpenGL ES 3.0. OpenGL ES 3.0 use the version of 3.0. So 3.0 is in here. It is based on Web uh, GLSL 3.3. So in here. Okay. So we when we are using the WebGL 1.0, we should learn GLSL ES 1.00. And if we want to use WebGL 2.0, we should learn 3.0. Okay. So, uh, in case of uh, uh, GLSL 1.5, the, the attribute and varying is changed into in and out. And in fragment shader, varying is changed into in and fragment shader out. And the in case of uh, version 1.5, the fragment shader must be bound, must be bounded with the frame buffer. So that kind of difference, major difference is that kind of thing. And and uh, and in OpenGL ES 3.0, there are another kind of shader. For example, compute, compute shader is included in OpenGL ES 3.0. So it, it must be different than OpenGL ES 2.0. Okay, let's learn shading language. In last class, we learned how to send data from CPU to GPU to build vertex buffer object. And then we learned how the vertexes are assembled together to make the primitive, for example, point, lines, and triangles. And then we need to know how to send the shader program into vertex shader and fragment shader. Okay, OpenGL is 2.0. Vertex and Fragment Shader looks like this. This basic diagram of Vertex Shader and Fragment Shader of GLSL ES 1.00. So we get information from attribute and uniform. Vertex Shader use this input data, then they create varings and then GL position and some other built-in output data. And then you send it into Fragment Shader then, fragment shader use varying information and uniform information and 
Before that, there is some kind of primitive assembly. So we, it is pre, it is assembled primitive. It will be sent to primary shader. Then they will generate primary color. Okay, let's go into the shading language. Okay, the shading shading language is very similar to C or C plus plus. It is not exactly the same as C or C plus plus. And it is parallel programming. I mean. For example, in NVIDIA Tegra architecture, there are so many vertex processing units, and there are many multiple fragment processing units. So, naturally, it should be parallel program. Okay, so vertex shader and fragment shader program should process the input data into the, the different the vertex processing unit. It means that we can consider that it is kind of SIMD architecture. It means that each vertex processing unit has different multiple data stream, but they are doing same instruction. Same instruction means same vertex shader program is running, same program is running, but different data is provided to each processor. Okay. In case of fragment shader, it is the same. So we give same fragment shader code to each fragment shader processor. Then each fragment processor has different data set and then process it parallelly. And it means that so one vertex at a, a time. So one vertex is processing at a one time. It operated one processing and we cannot predict the vertex and neighbor vertex. For example, we make primitive with triangles. So if sometimes it is very good for when we are processing this vertex, if we have information about this vertex and another vertex, then it will be very useful to calculate someone. But it is not possible in vertex processor. Why? We cannot predict that this this vertex data is going here. This vertex can go here. This vertex can can go here to process. So the another the accessing another vertex data is not possible. And fragment shader cannot change the fragment position. Position is fragment position is decided by vertex shader. It is not possible to access neighbor, neighboring fragment or other fragment. It's not possible and it's not allowed. And the computing result of program and shader used for, for updating the frame buffer memory or it can be used for texture memory. So you will learn about the texture later. So Sometimes it is possible to withdraw something on texture memory and then we can use it as an input of texture processing. Okay. So, so frame to shade result can be stored to frame buffer or texture memory. To execute shader, so we need to make the source code of vertex shader and fragment shader. For example, we, if we store the source code into vertex shader source, and then we need to create vertex shader with this API in WebGL. And then we the, attach the source code, send the source code to vertex shader. And we create fragment shader in here. And then, and then we send the fragment source code to fragment shader. And then we should compile it. Vertex shader and fragment shader code must be compiled. And then we create the program object. Create program object. And then we attach the fragment shader and vertex shader into program object. And then we link program. The final stage of uh, shader is use program. If we execute use program, then this vertex shader and fragment shader equipped to 
to here and here so it is ready to execute when start when when primary shader processing unit and vertex shader program unit is executed when when we are when we give the draw element or draw array command to to GPU then it is executed and you can see that the, the G GL use program is choosing choosing the GL program object so we can create multiple program object then you can choose selectively we can use the program object so but it is possible but it is not recommendable because the changing the shade of programming is quite quite a big load to GPU so it takes long time so if we do if we make a multiple program and we if we frequently changing that object then it will make the bad performance okay I said that uh, uh, shading language is very similar to C language. So, like a C language, there is a, a preprocessor is exist in shading language. So, sharp, sharp define, undefine, yeah, if, if define, that kind of thing is, that kind of macro define is possible in shading language. Also, in in shading language, we can use use uh, some kind of a pragma operation. It is in here. So, for example, optimize on and off. For example, pragma debug on and off. Sometimes it it makes some different uh, the performance. If we turn on optimize and turn off debug, then it has best performance. Sometimes it's not. It depends on implementation of chip. So, in preprocessor, we can use the plus minus and not and divide that kind of shift operator can be used for preprocessor. Okay, it is very similar to C language, and then it is kind of a language reserved keyword attribute, const uniform bearing, and yeah, profile if as well. then you can see that some some basic statement of language so. There is conditional statement and then loop statement there are okay so, so you can also predict the, the, the data types okay okay data type there are the four kind of basic data types so integer integer and protein point and boolean is possible and one there is void of void data type for uh, function without uh, return value in case of there are uh, three kind of vectors, the, the two component, three component, four component vector is possible, and we also can we also can define the integer vector or boolean vector with vec or i vec. Okay. In case of matrix, the matrix two is two by two matrix, two by two matrix, and three by three matrix, four by four matrix. So it means that the column size and the 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 row size it should be same in case of basic uh, matrix. So we can create, of course, it, we can create a two-dimensional array. But but in in basic data type, in basic type, row uh, all uh, the the columns and row size must be same. So. You should understand that uh, so this matrix, okay, matrix and the vector is basic data types, so it can be used as a return, return parameters. Okay. And you should know that stored by columns and column major, with column major, okay. Column major means column major means. If we define matrix, then it should be ordered with column first. 
so we can we can when we are to accessing the matrix then we can access like this so m row and column okay so be careful be careful it is very uh, it is very confusing because it is much different than we expecting in mathematical notation so i'll show you later okay uh, another basic type is sampler 2d and sampler cube it is for use it is used for the texture mapping and there are also arrays and structure it is very similar to she okay okay we need to to look into the matrix okay matrix is color major so color major means if we to, to calculate matrix, for example, if we use the new vector is matrix multiply vector, then it looks like this. Okay, so we we wrote we write the matrix with this mathematical notation. Okay, so so U X is M zero multiply V X m4 multiply vy m8 multiply vz m12 multiply vw like this multiply multiply this thing okay so but you should notice that the number of the small numbers are 0 1 2 3 4 4 5 6 this order okay it, it means that it means that if you write a array with one dimensional data then the order is look like this so I'll show you code okay code okay there is matrix data in here so one one two three four okay Let's see the, 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 the yes, zero one two okay zero one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven yes this one is two, is zero four eight twelve so okay let's check the result I'll show you currently. Uh, I test reload it. Okay. Currently, the code said that they draw like this. So, I change it into 0 0.4. And then, I write. Then, reload it. Then, it goes to, it translate the X coordinate into 0 0.4. So, so it means that it the zero point four in here here works like uh, like in here. Okay. So we think that oh it is does okay. The source code said it, it looks like a four by four matrix, but it, 0 0.4 is not here so in mathematical notation in mathematical notation it is in here okay okay in here okay so be careful it is color major so in case of a vertex multiply matrix then we can we can use like this so it is very similar to similar to we we we, we can use like a one dimensional array with order of zero one two three four. It looks like good, but the problem is problem is in shader code in sh vertex shader vertex shader code said that we multiply the transformation matrix multiply vertex. So 
so in our source code it said that we 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 multiply matrix and vector with this notation so we think that mathematical notation with this but the problem is that we we must send javascript array with this order 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 like this okay be careful be careful so when when you are studying something with uh, with mathematical or the linear algebra or something and then we you want to use the, oh i like this notation so i will use this mathematical notation to calculate something but sometimes is if you if you're confusing about if you're confusing about this notation then you can miss something so you can get correct you cannot get correct answer okay be careful it is matrix uh, column major okay pointers in GLSL GLSL is very similar to C language but it is not possible to use pointer but the the matrix and vectors are basic types so it can be used for for return value or or the 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 some parameters or function so like this so this function send receive the the matrix the three by three matrix and then it is return it will return the matrix three so so it is not even though there are no pointers it is not so much complex program is is needed okay. okay qualifiers qualifier is very so various kind of qualifiers in gl shading language so of course there are qualifiers in c language also so for example const static or that kind of thing is in c language but in in glsl uh, there are uh, different kind of qualifiers uh, exist in GLSL language spec. Okay, first thing is storage qualifier that is constant or attribute uniform varying and then there's another thing is precision qualifier so we can define the, the precision of, of value and then we can set the parameters parameters means the input and output parameters of function and then we can set the variance or invariance. It means that I have I'm, I'm I have no experience to use these uh, qualifiers for. Uh, uh, so spec said that if we want to if we want to want to use different kind of a shader, I mean different shaders with a different compile process, then sometimes. Even though it is the same calculation, but because of a compiler difference or some compile time optimization, optimization difference, it can be slightly different. For example, this result was 2.0, but this result can be 190, 99999 something. So to, to prevent this kind of a failure, so they can use the variance or invariance qualifiers but I don't know how to use it <laughs> sorry and if you have if you want to learn more then you, you need to test it with with uh, these uh, qualifiers and you should learn the, with the specification and we already know that the so vertex attributes and varings are uh, interpolation. Interpolation is occurred in fragment shader. Okay, in in into fragment of attribute, it is automatically interpolated. For example, the color we assigned it in the that value is automatically interpolated. And we we have two attributes in our sample code. What is that? Yeah, position and color. In case of position, we think that, oh yeah, that that 
position also that positions all pixels positions are interpolated with with from this three vertex position yes that's right the color is interpolate position is interpolate and then so we need to we need to consider that all bearing values and uh, attributes will be interpolated in fragment shader okay and we, when we are mixed with this various uh, qualifiers we need to set we need to follow the order of qualifications so invariant qualifier and then storage qualifier and then precision qualifier for example variant variant and const and uh, high p so precision qualifier is high p low p and mid p okay so we we, we should uh, follow we, we must follow one of these order okay next attribute qualifier at in case of attribute we send from cpu with we, we send the CPU memory data into vertex buffer object, or we can send it the, the attribute value with constant value. It is possible. Now, attribute qualifier can be float, yeah, one value, and vector two, vector four, vector four. Possible. Oh, you can see that? So, matrix two, matrix three, matrix four is possible. It means that. It is possible to matrix four is four by four matrix. I said that so in OpenGL ES 2.0 implementation must support at least eight attributes and minimum. So if I can send this thing matrix four, then it will be we can use sixteen variables to send to GPU with with uh, then we can use more very we can send more variable than using this one but but in case of matrix 4 4 by 4 matrix sometimes some implementation consume consume four attributes okay because the four by four matrix is the same as four back four. So sometimes if we use matrix four for attribute qualifier attribute, then some implementation consume four attributes. So it is not possible to use eight matrix four attributes in some implementation. Okay. Uniform. Uniform is used for as a some kind kind of constant. So it is same value is copied to all processing unit. Uniform value is copied into all processing unit. Vertex programmed sh vertex shaders, vertex processing unit, and have same uniform value. The fragment shader pr program fragment processing unit, all programming all unit should have the same value so it is used for for example for example let's go to our source code shader code in case of vertex shader so matrix 4 by 4 matrix is, is transformation matrix is uniform but vector vector coordinate vertex coordinate is attribute so the one processing unit have one vertex and all processing unit have a same transformation matrix okay so it is slightly different all vertex processing unit have different different my vertex attributes but all processing unit have same transformation matrix value so it can be used for sending constant variable to to processors. Okay. Oh, of course it is not possible to change it in shader. 
also attribute cannot sh change it. Can cannot sh change the attribute, attribute the vertex attributes. Okay. And then varying is used for sending passing the vertex from vertex shader to fragment shader. Okay. And in rasterizer, it is automatically interpolated, and then it can be also all all basic the basic the type can be used for varying. Okay, so like this varying vector for color, then we send we can send the color value to fragment shader. And another thing is parameter qualification. Okay, is qu parameter qualifier can be used in function that in function programming. So, for example, in diffuse, in out, in out can be used for input and output. So we can save that data into here, and then uh, default is in. Default is in. So there is no in, but it is in. So, in light is input variable and normal is input variable, then output variable is the specular. So, the my plot is used for is as input or output, and then the so specular can be used for output. So we can we can calculate it with that, and also there are some kind of return value. Okay, so. If we store something in specular, then it is the, it, the calculated result will be stored in here, and also also the the return return value of the diffuse diffuse function, then the the there there is also the, the vector for the the return value will be sent sent to the function. And then precision qualifier. There are three kinds of precision qualifiers. First thing is high P. The the most easy way to understanding this precision qualifier is the high P is the high quality vertex coordinate. And low P is for example for color value. For example, in case of color value, the color value is so limited to from 0 to 1.0 so very limited area so it is possible to with the low precision floating point can be calculate can be used for calculating color values so we don't have to waste the memory and we don't have in case of we set the low pre, low precision data then it's a computation time is much better much faster than the high p setting so in case of value is the color then we can use the low p and in case of a coordinate with a big number or very small number then we must use high p uh, there is another the qualifier precision qualifier so medium but what is used for medium so we, we cannot i can say that so so medium precision is somewhere in low p and high p so we cannot predict my the implementation supporting which precision or something so for example for example uh, some gpu low p is low p is for example low p is 8 bit and high p is is 32 bit the medium P is 16 bit, but but in case of auto implementation can be 16 bit, 32 bit, six no 32 bit, Th that kind of thing is possible. Okay, so we cannot know the the pre actual precision of low P and high P, or especially medium P is not possible to know the exact the precision over medium p number okay so high p low p medium p is is only is not only for protein point it is possible to use it in integer but but the low p integer is not possible to use it in integer 
So loop in integer is not exist. Okay. And default precision is in. We can we can uh, set the default precision with command command of precision. Okay. So precision high p int. So precision low p is simpler to the. Then we can uh, we can add this the command line. Then the if I use if I use int, then all int is considered to add, treated add as the high p. Okay. Operators, yeah, it is very similar to C language operators. There is also the precedence, precedence, and then there is a uh, there is a so many kind of uh, the operator arithmetic operators, or relational operators, assignment operators. It is, it is exactly the same as sitting is precedence, but if you confuse about the, some precedence of the operator, then please use parentheses. It is very easy and simple way and good way to understand your code. Okay. Sometimes uh, sharing language is very similar to C++ or JavaScript. It's object-oriented and the constructors features are exist in sharing language. Okay. For example, we can change the, the, the boolean into integer and the prot into integer. We can change the bool into prot, we can change the integer to prot, bool, prot to bool, integer to boolean. As a, as a bool, in case, only in case of 0 or 0, 0.0 are converted to false in case of a boolean and then other numbers can convert it into true except g zero so in case of vector we can create a vector with one one scalar value for example if i say the, the back three 1.0 it create 1.0 1.0 1.0 1 vector three three object and so we can we can put in one then 1 1.0 1.0 1.0 1.0 back to four protein data is created for this constructor okay we can also different number to here then the two two vector component is with this floating point number and then we can use the use like this and then we can we can put a uh, different the object, different type in here. So, for example, integer, integer, floating, front. So, if the value is zero, then it, it changed into true or false. And then, and if it is not a zero, then it will be changed into into true. Okay. So, and mixture of the vec. If we set the vector to use vector to constructor to read the vector three parameter then the final component will be released removed and then and then the copy of first and second component then create vector two so we can mix views with the, the vector and scalar scalar and vector that kind of mix use is possible in case of matrix the, we can set matrix with a plot it means that uh, if we set 2.0, then the with the matrix three, then three by three matrix with created with two, 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 and then other components are zero. So the, this kind the, the some three by three matrix is created. Okay, so of course it is possible to we can give it to the whole number, but think about it. All numbers should be order of column major. Okay. Also, column major three vector we can give it. Okay. Okay. There are also the, the structure in in it is very similar to C language. We can mix use of uh, we can create a kind of a structure with the, the vector or scalar or combination of that. But the problem is sometimes structure inside your structure, I mean, the, the, the embedding structure is 
not allowed in some implementation. So, so for example, some implementation can support it, some implementation cannot support it. So please do not use it. Why, why, why sh we should programming the shader? Why we should program shader with that kind of complex thing? So make it simple. Component, okay. In case of vector, we can use the, the four kind of component can be used for vector. For example, like array, we can consider it as a some four uh, arrays. For example, if back a, then we can access a three, like like this. No, it is not possible. Yeah. So if we set vector 3 then if we access a3 then it will be error so of course so we need to set vector 4 then we can access like that so and the x y z w all z b a and s t p q is same so if we assigned the a with for example, one, two, three, four. Then a dot x is same as a dot exactly same as a dot r, okay, or a dot s. So we call we so there is a very the good function for its name is Swizzle. Swizzle is very useful for. So exchanging some component or ch so changing one component only something. So for example, the if if I want to change the the position of component x y z w with w z y x then then position is like that. So one two three four. Then in case of put post dot w z y x then the switch is stored at this value. Okay, for three, two, one. I want to change. I want to copy x twice and y twice. Then, I, I, if I write this code, that, then do you set that one, one, two, two. So it is very useful function. Okay, in case of matrix, in case of matrix, we can access with a two-dimensional array, like a two-dimensional array. Okay. And also we can set with the the so the the vector. So it is color major. So if we set M one with M one with vector for two point zero then all matrix with second thing second second column is this two three four and all second column change is changed into two okay this is function and with this command then we can come one component for example zero comma zero maybe in here zero zero okay so so be careful it is column major so it is different the mathematical notation and the store the structure is different so be careful And vector and matrix operation, okay. We can, if we use vector for the scalar with uh, the operation with scalar operation, it is, it is all component, the duplicate operation is executed on all component of vector. For example, so V1X, V1Y, V1Z, it is same as multiply two, multiply two, multiply two. It is same as like this, okay. If it is the vector three. In case of a vector operation with the vector operation, for example, it is very same as our in inside. So we can predict it. Yeah. So v one x v two x is added and then stored in the v three x. V three y equals v one y plus v two y. That kind of component by component operate operation is occurred in in this case. In case of matrix or vector multiplication, 
it is matrix and vector multiplication. So we learned in linear algebra. So it is same as uh, this one. Okay, the dot function is the dot product function. Can you remember that is dot dot product and inner product is same one, but dot product and cross product or something. So it is same operation. Okay. Precision of operation. So sometimes, oh, sometimes I do some kind of a matrix multiplication, but its result is slightly different. Can we predict the precision of matrix multiplication or, or something? So, no, it is not possible. The precision of operation is implementation dependent so we cannot predict some chip has high precision multiplication some some chip does not have high precision multiplication so many companies are concentrate concentrate on uh, the, on the high performance then they gave up they gave up the the precision of com computation and maybe th some company will concentrate on the precision, then performance will be slightly dropped. So it, it is vice versa. Okay. So, but we cannot know the, the what is exact precision of computation or operation. Okay. Statement and structure. It's like a C or C++ or JavaScript. There are the statement and declaration functions. So if else, for file loop to file loop, discard. Discard is somewhat kind of a written or, or exit or something. So only it is possible to use in pregnant shader. So if it discard is called, then pregnant shader, that pregnant is discarded. Then, of course, there is return, break, continue is used for function and declaration and statement. And the built-in variables. In our sample code, we already used the GL position and the GL flag color. So it is GL position is used for define some position of vertex. Okay. It said that homogeneous vertex position it means that its value is x y z and w the homogeneous means there is another coordinate w coordinate is exist in the coordinate so sometimes the if there are double with double values so the, the screen position of vertex is different so so if in vertex shader we, we can you we can read the 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 if we read x and y coordinate without w information then sometimes it's misleading some position okay so be careful w there is w value so it can be used for in final in later stage it is used for divide into w or coordinate is divided into w okay and gl point side oh yeah we used it so for draw point the, in case of primitive is point then you can set the point size it means that we can set the point size with on, depend on the parameter of something so we can give we can give some kind of point size as an attribute then with that attribute we can set the point size okay the gl position in and gl print point size is global scope so we don't have to in case of a function so so function can access this variable pregnant shader the pregnant color is Pregnant of vertex in GL frag data, we can send pregnant data. data GL frag data is kind of an area array. So it, the GL frag, if we want to use GL frag color with different value, then we can use that. Uh, the, the GL frag color can be included in array. Mm. 
but it is not possible to use cannot both if we want to use this one then choose this one and then if we want this use this one then you can choose this one okay we can choose only one in 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 fragment shader there is another another the built-in variables gl frag coordinate and gl point coordinate and gl front facing gl front facing is you will learn it per fragment operation then if face is if face is for example i'll show you if face is it is front then fight you can see the fight fight if it is the gray that we can say back back side okay in, in case of triangle primitives the we can define that okay this side is front then automatically the back side will be the back side will be rear facing so it can be if face is facing to some direction then you can set it into the front face so if it is front face then that value is true if it is not front face then it is set to false you will learn in per fragment operation okay. and there are two coordinate x y z and one divide into w that is lead only so we set the the x y z w value with the gl position it is sent to fragment shader then it it changed its value with one of w why i don't know but it is much convenient because we need to divide it but in case of w component is stored in one of w then we can multiply it in it into xyz so it's much easier to process it the the division is much complex than multiply so we can use it so the the pre coordinate stored one of w so be careful the, this xy is not not the, the same the exact the same position of xy for example we draw triangle triangle vertex is in here so we can predict that oh yeah it will be about 0 0.3 0 0.4 or something like that the xy is like that because it is this point is appears in here but when we are programming in fragment shader or vertex shader the xy value can be different value for example in case of uh, in case the x is 30 or y is 40 but in case of uh, one of w value is okay 100 of one of 100 then the screen the, the, this could this point will be displayed in here but we don't know about if we read x value and y value then it, it said that oh x is 30 and y is 40 so it can be different okay and in in case of GA point coordinate is the actual position of fragment so in case the the point in in this case then the, the GL point coordinate will have 0 0.3 and 0 0.4. It's a two-dimensional, okay? Coordinate screen, coordinate of something, okay? So please check the value. The, we can we can check the value with some changing into color or something. So we can use that value to programming some special making to making the special effect okay okay let's go to next page built-in attributes uh, there are need only built-in bet attributes max or max vertex attribute we know that already so it is eight and minimum so max vertex unit f uniform vector is 128 so is it not possible to send more than 128 uniform vector okay so you must think about that okay so maximum draw buffer is one at minimum one 
at minimum one, 128. Maybe some implementation can support more than 512, or some implementation can support uh, drawing both with three or so four. So that is possible. But at minimum one, at least one drawable port should exist in GPU. Okay. Built in uniform, okay. In in vertex shader, there are some near and far diff, diff value is exist in built in uniform. It is defined by the depth range param API command in JavaScript. We call it, then automatically that value will be stored into the built in uniform value of the vertex shader. Sometimes we need to know that, so near clipping and far clipping. Don't worry about that. You will learn, you will learn the up clipping, far clipping in the in future. Okay. It, it is kind of a struct structure, and you can you can use this value to rendering something. Okay. There are so many built-in functions. For example, tri trigonometric function, radian, degree, sine, cosine, so exponent, mathematical formula, and length. For example. You can you can you can calculate the length of between two vector vector pointers. Okay, the back three, back three. Then the the this function will return the distance between distance between something. So, okay, and dot product, inner product, and cross product, face forward. The, they will return the the face is forwarded or backwarded. So, reflect. Is they, they calculate some kind of reflect function. So, for example, we if we input the this vector and this vector, then result vector will be returned from reflect. Refract is somewhat so optical phenomenon. That is, in the water, the if we put that the something light, then it will be refracted. Okay, so so we we can it is because of uh, the density of two material is different, different than the, the refract refraction is occurred in in the surface. So we can calculate the vector refracted refracted vector. It is because sometimes it is very confusing. They reflect refract. So refract is in Korean is it is it is yeah, and and then reflect is reflect is yeah, 반사. Yeah, in Korean, sorry for foreign students, but it, it, it is very similar to the pronunciation, like me. So be careful. And matrix in 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 the matrix computer mult is uh, we can ca calculate a mat ma some some matrix, and then vector relation. So for example, with the parameter of ve two vectors. We can calculate less than, less than equal, greater equal, not equal. So there is a, some kind of component is in the vector or that kind of function is already built in in shader. Okay, texture function. The, there are texture two D, texture two D projection, texture two D LOD, the texture two D projection LOD, texture cube, texture cube LOD. That kind of function is already built in. So. You will learn the how to use texture in. It is kind of an overview. Download this file, the the GLSL ES specification. You can use the quick reference card. In quick reference card, the page three and page four are about the shading language. So you can reference with this PDF file. Okay, thank you. Bye.